This is the Mitel call reporting software, part of Mitel customer service manager suite. And I'm going to take you through a very quick demo of you know, what the capabilities are of this product. So once you've got reporter installed on your PC, it will read from the database across your network on the server. Um, but really, it's important to mention that whatever you do in this reporting program doesn't affect any of the data that's stored on the server. So it's really for you to play around with and adjust the reports up as uh, per your requirements. So very quickly, I'm going to just run you through some of the typical reports that most of our customers look for. And first of all, we've got our call list, which is essentially an itemization of any calls that were made on the phone system. Now, looking at the screen there, we've got date, time, was it answered, was it not answered. We also have a column showing the information of the actual caller so we can actually link this up with your CRM software or customer database and actually show the client information in the report as well so here we can see you know certain contacts that we've got that we know about uh, showing up in the reports which just makes it a little bit more meaningful we've also got telephone number we've got the DDI number of the call where it came in on and we've also got the name or description of the DDI so we might have uh, Google AdWords or Facebook advertisements or main number sales hotline that type of thing uh, showing in that column and the real advantage of uh, using Rep Mitel Reporter is that it segments the calls and really gives you all the information about the call so you're going to get the extension name, you're going to get the extension number the agent name, the agent ID you know if you're operating a call center and you know, you can double click into these records and, and drill down into the call. So, if you really were investigating certain types of calls coming in, you could get the granular information uh, as you required. So, this is a typical itemized call list. Moving on from this, we can show you a lost calls report. Now, a lot of business, uh, you know, can be lost if you are not answering your calls on time and people are hanging up. So how the MyTel reporter deals with these, it says, well, I'm going to give you an unreturned lost calls report as well. And what an unreturned lost calls report is, is a true picture of calls that came into the business, were abandoned, but no one has spoken to them since. So if I called into the business in the morning, no one answered, I hung up, that would generate a lost call. But if I called back five minutes later and the call was answered, it would take me off the unreturned lost calls list. In addition, if someone called me back as a customer, which you can easily do with this software, uh, it would take that person off the unreturned lost calls. So using unreturned lost calls in your reporting is very valuable. Moving on from lost calls, we can look at calls by extension. So if we wanted to have a kind of leaderboard or a head-to-head -head report of all calls that were answered or all calls that were made by each individual in your team or across the company then you can pull this report and you can filter this down by department so you could see you know credit control versus the sales team versus customer service or support that type of thing in addition to calls by extension we've got calls by DDI number so specifically if you were looking at um, report for marketing purposes you might be marketing in lots of different places and put in a unique telephone number on each campaign and this report will show you what calls you generated on each telephone number and because this data is stored forever you can go back historically year on year so you know if you're looking at certain types of advertising in certain um, parts of the media you could actually see whether it's worth reinvesting in the advertisement you know once again based on how many calls were actually generated in addition we have line usage by half hour and day this is a great report to show you whether you're potentially using all your lines in your business or you're under utilizing those lines now if you use all your lines in the business then you're potentially giving out engaged tones which is bad for business but if you're not using very many of your lines then you're also paying line rentals uh, unnecessarily so this report will give you uh, a summary across any period of time how many lines you're using and what your maximum peak hours are of the day. Now all these reports can be very easily uh, filtered if so if we just right click and hit properties 
we can change the style of the report so we can choose the different category of the report we can go into the date and time tab and change the date range or say on a specific day and also we can filter out the uh, Saturdays and Sundays if you if your business just operates uh, 9 to 5 Monday to Friday the filter then allows you to uh, also change the columns in the report so that's under the fields tab and that really just allows you to remove or add columns based on the information you want to see so you know you don't have to have information in the reports that you just that you're not going to use so really that was just to give you a quick flavor of the report properties you know very very configurable uh, just to give you a preview of what a report looks like if you right click and do print preview the reporter program will automatically format the report ready for print so you know there shouldn't be any uh, time consumed just you know laying the report out and that's the end of the uh, Mitel customer service manager rule uh, reporter program. Thank you for listening.